This is the first part of several videos in which I'm planning to try and explain to people how to use the uh, OpenCV component which achieves what's called uh, cascade classification. And it's doing it using two methods, uh, one of them the older one, that's one, one of the new ones. Uh, the newer one is, is a lot faster, uh, so I'll try to concentrate on that. Uh, this page you're seeing right now comes from a website called OpenCV.itc.com, uh, a very, very nice website in fact. You can see that's the main page here. It's got the documentation of the OpenCV framework, uh, framework which is written in several different languages, and uh, I mostly myself use it to do some development of OpenCV in Eclipse for Android development, uh, mostly using Java, of course, and using interface to uh, dynamically linked uh, libraries, uh, static files which contain all the uh, uh, implementations in terms of functions of things that I need for. Uh, for my work to actually achieve real-time tracking of things. Uh, in, in this first video I'm just going to show you this page which contains some documentation, explanation of what you know, what is involved in actually doing the uh, uh, machine learning based or a sort of uh, training uh, that application on targets uh, approach to trying to track objects. It can be something like faces or cars in my case. I'm trying to track cars for the purpose of uh, navigation around the scene uh, without the need to use uh, satellite uh, pictures or GPS and things like that. So in the next video I'm actually going to show some applications which are uh, which are provided by this OpenCV framework in binary form if you if you can get it uh, to do that quite simply in fact.